Hi, everybody. We're going to start soon. Just uh, waiting and five more minutes for everybody else to join. <clears throat> okay, so a few more minutes before we start and, and just join us. <clears throat> so you can write in the chat if you want for now. And uh... <clears throat> Okay, we're just going to wait like a few more minutes. We just shared basically the link uh, online, so. And feel free to share it as well if you have friends who might want to join. All right, so uh, I think we're going to start anyway. Uh, Andreas, you are here. Yes. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I can't exactly uh, show my screen because I am uh, in the dark right now. It's like 5 a.m. 
<laughs> in Mexico. But um, before we start, I just wanted to give a quick introduction to everybody who might not know this event. And, uh, and then I'll let you go on if it's okay with you. So, uh, hi everyone. So this is uh, streamed normally on uh, YouTube and on Facebook. This is just one of the events that we organize with this Pranic family. Um, and I think for many people, actually, it makes probably no sense to, <laughs> to term Pranic. So uh, we don't really uh, have to explain it. But this is just a group of people who are basically learning to live on less stuff in general. So that means also... Uh, we do dry fasting once a week and we also like kind of like do different things to kind of live on less stuff in general. So let's say that uh, today is like kind of our discussion about uh, non-duality and kind of like uh, the ending of like a lot of the seeking. But uh, I think it's best if uh, Andreas gives and shares like the message <laughs> which is not really a message and then we can go on and uh, you guys ask question and i'm just here to kind of like help if it's okay with you andreas yeah, if there's I'm no question sure. if there's no question i'm just going to be talking to you <laughs> about nothing but uh, there we go so it's your time <laughs> all right thank you very much so welcome everyone um so I'll yeah as uh, I'll give a short introduction on what this is about or what non-duality is kind of, and of course then everyone is welcome to uh, just ask a question or we can have a chat about what I said. Of course you can also write in the chat something if you don't want to really talk to me. And. Uh, I don't know who's also following the stream, the live stream. And uh, so, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Um, so what um, non-duality points to is in the end that what happens, what seems to be happening, us sitting together here, so to speak, is just perfect and whole and complete and that there is absolutely nothing else to achieve or to attain. That's what this message points to. It's this wholeness, completion, harmony, whatever you want to call it, all those words, they just point to this very directly being whole and complete. And in that sense, there is absolutely nothing to achieve or to gain. And uh, there is no circumstance, nothing that will make this more whole than it already is. That's what this message says. <laughs> On the other hand, what this message also says is that I am this impression that there is someone here isn't real. That is an illusion, so to speak. And um, it's only this illusion which is looking for something else. It's only this illusion to be a separate eye which looks for something deeper, something more real, something more true, something more fulfilling. And it tries to do all kinds of things to to do to find that and uh, find deeper satisfaction that's what one could also say it, it earns a lot of money it creates big families it starts to seek spiritually it tries to heal its childhood it tries to open its heart it tries to live an adventurous life it tries to live a boring and secure life <laughs> <laughs> whatever it, it theoretically or potentially it can seek in anything the person can seek in anything hoping that it'll find something deeper there living vegetarian eating meat doing sports doing no sports living totally adjusted to society living a rebellious life against society all of that would be part of the dream. If there is someone thinking 
this is the right way to live, or I have to live like that in order to find something deeper. The person will never find something deeper. It'll just find illusions, illusory experiences of, oh, wow, this was so great. Oh, yeah, this felt really deep. Oh, this felt really loving and stuff like that. But all of those things, they just go away again. They seem to happen and they seem to look like an achievement or like an answer, or they seem to look as if I found something, but pretty quickly they are just gone and the person starts seeking them again. So what this message points to is not another path. It's not another idea on what you should do or on what you shouldn't do. It points out that it is this you, this I, which is the dream. And this first separation, I am, and I'm separate from all the rest in this universe, that this separation is dreamt. This I is dreamt and this separation is dreamt. It's not real. That's why all the seeking doesn't work out. That's why the person always remains a seeker. No matter how successful it seems to be in its life, it remains a seeker, thinking it was not yet enough. I've understood a lot, but not all. I've healed a lot from my childhood, but not enough to be satisfied. I meditated a lot, but not enough to be satisfied. So that's the person's experience. Liberation, that I'm finished soon. I'm sorry, I'm talking a lot. Uh, liberation, <laughs> Saturday morning here, so I slept enough. And I'm... Okay. Um, <laughs> lib <laughs> liberation, liberation would just be the apparent collapse of that whole setup, of this whole structure of I am. And there's nothing left but wholeness. There's nothing left then what apparently happens, this, being whole and complete already. That's it. That's what non-duality points to, <laughs> apparently. So the bad, the bad news is I don't have any answers. I have no idea on what anyone should or shouldn't do. Um, there is no one anyway. In that sense, I'm not a teacher. I can't teach anything here. I can't help you. I can't uh, move on with you. I can't take a step with you because who would this you be? It's just this and it's perfect. This is perfection. So I'm finished for now. <laughs> or I could go on. Yes, please. Uh, no, I have no question. I just want to say, I think everybody can be free to unmute themselves. I think there's not, it's okay. You don't have to raise your hand if you if something come up. Or yes, you can exactly. Add. Someone. Yeah. Um, where, where is it actually streamed? It's on YouTube and on Facebook. So anybody that's on YouTube, I think there's a link in the description to join the Zoom because we cannot see the questions on on the chat. You would just have to join the Zoom to ask the question. Exactly. So anyone who follows it on YouTube and stuff, if you want to ask a question or talk to me about this, uh, you can just uh, please join the Zoom. You can also, if you don't want to be seen, of course, you can turn your picture off, but well, I prefer seeing you, of course, but just you can remain as anonymous as you want. Thank you, Andreas. Um, when, you, when you were uh, explaining or, or describing the, the description of 
describing the description of non-duality <laughs> just made me think of this movie. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, um, the, the movie of Forrest Gump. And it just felt like, it's kind of like living like Forrest Gump, just, 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 he was just living. It's like, and life was like flowing through him. And he had bad moments, he had good moments. He was hurt in his heart and then, then he was happy and everything in between, but he was just, he didn't have any, it didn't seem like he had any like opinion, like opinion uh -huh. of Forrest, Forrest Gump didn't have any opinions on Forrest Gump's life. He just, he just lived. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And, 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 and what, what this points to is that it already is like that for everyone. And that all those ideas, I have to find something deeper and they are nothing more than ideas. That's the thing. Life is like Forrest Gump's life for everyone already. But in their head, so to speak, or in their experience, it may feel I'm someone and I'm on a very important path towards real fulfillment and stuff but no everyone's just going on like a forest in the movie yeah and in a way it's like it's already we're already in fulfillment because when you said that that everything is whole and and complete already i just i got aware of the sound of your voice and then i thought about the the sounding, like the, the notes, the, the, the sound itself. And, and every sound is already complete because there are no non-complete sounds. It's yeah. an, any sound is a note. It's like one of the notes happening and then we can just, just put them all together and make it sound like noise or music or whatever. But, and that's a, an opinion we have, but like nothing can ever be not complete because it's already a specific frequency, whatever it is, if it's a sound or a color or a, or, or, or a material or anything. And, and in its basic level, the most basic level, it's made up of like tones, you could say, or, or any, any, anything basic, as, as basic as, as, as it goes, anything, if you, if, you, if you go down to the most basic element of anything, that element is always complete because it is itself, right? Yes, absolutely, yes. Then, then you can put, put it together to, in something that, that is painful to us or something like, oh, it doesn't look good or is ugly or, or sounds bad, right? But but it's still made up of these perfect parts. Yes, that's true. I just think you can't really make it logically. I know what you mean, and I would say I, I have a total yes to this, but the thing is that you can't really, or thinking it through, so to speak, coming to a conclusion, won't really be fulfilling again. But you're right, that, that's what this message points to. It, 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 it can't be different. It's not, maybe it's whole and complete and maybe not. It just is like that. Absolutely, yes. I think the difficulty starts, so to speak, when there is someone, when there is the illusion of a person trying to know it or trying to experience it, thinking that it's something I can know or experience. And I think this doesn't work. I think that's the person again, trying to find it, so to speak. Again, the question would be, okay, how can I really experience that? How can this really become my experience? I think no matter how much it's understood, the person will be left with this impression, so to speak. Not that it matters, but yeah. That's the thing. It's just whole and complete already. No other, no other way. So but, if we're trying to experience stuff while we are already 
experiencing all the time. So it's like trying to fill, trying to put something in a full cup, right? Because we, exactly. we cannot not experience. We, we experience all the time. We cannot not experience. And then we're trying to experience an opinion, actually. Like we're trying to experience what we would think would be fulfilling, let's say, right? Yeah, actually. And I would, then. Well, I would say, actually, they're not being a person actually means that there is no real experiencing. So I would exactly say this is the dream, actually. I'm but, is, but isn't the experiencingness itself there? It, it's just, it's not me experiencing it. I mean, me thinking in me experiencing is this opinion I have, right? Yeah, That's a right. dream. But the experiencingness itself is, is Yeah, here. apparently something going on in a way, feelings and thoughts and stuff. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. Life apparently happens, yeah. But there isn't this real, I'm aware of, I'm experiencing sadness, and I should experience fulfillment instead. That's, that's what I mean with experiencing, like, energetically to cut out parts and to know them. I'm sad, but that's what I'm experiencing now. And out of that comes the idea that I should experience something else actually happiness or joy or fulfillment or i should know that sadness is also for fine or so in that sense it's what i mean it would just be being sad without anyone knowing on top ah oh, the sadness is holiness too no being sad itself would just be totally Fine. That's this. That's the surprise in the end. It's so we're, we're like this uh, broadcasting uh, the machines, you could say, right? Like we're broadcasting this, what we think it should. We should think and what we. Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Like an opinion, like an opinion uh, radio station in a way. It seems. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, most people just live in those. I mean, when there is a person, the person just usually lives in its ideas and stories and opinions and thinks they are somehow true. But it's basically just repeating ideas. <laughs> How do you experience? It. Well, uh, well, yeah, exactly. That's hard to say because uh, the experience or uh, this separate energy just collapsed. So I don't have a certain way to experience. All I can say is there's wholeness, so to speak, which can't be, which can't be known really. So I exactly can't answer this question. I can just, so to speak, point out that the experience is a dream, is dreamt, this I. But as a felt sense, I don't mean a, a story of, of I or some kind of ego. I would really say it's this impression that there is something here which I am. It's that which turns out to be, where is it? It's not. It's not real. Well, well hello. Ooh, where am I? So, and it turned out that this was the only thing that was seeking, so to speak, that was somehow trying to find something. But how it is when that's not there anymore, I, that's indescribable, so to speak. Not because it's utterly utterly great or something <laughs> no but every description would just come from this separate me for me it's like that aha uh -huh. okay hmm. but for me it feels more like nah. no it's all of that but did, did did even your me your ego me change the description for itself like for me before this was like this and now after this or is your 
you, your, your me, <laughs> still have the same opinions? <laughs> well, no, not really. No, no. Maybe the the maybe up here in the brain, I there are the same thoughts, but I don't really believe them anymore. Or there is nothing there saying this is the truth. My opinion is the truth. It really is like that. But the brain just it does what it does, so to speak. That's. <laughs> That was the surprise well, when this eye died. I didn't even need new thoughts. <laughs> I thought I need new thoughts, you know, new thinking, or new ideas or something, or at least get rid of the conditioning or the disturbing ones. And they don't disturb me. They're not too clever. But it's, just, it's what happens. And it's surprisingly fine and whole and complete. I love when you say surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, to oh, yeah, because... surprisingly whole and complete. <laughs> oh, totally. Because whenever, whenever I was someone, I thought there is something wrong with the world or with me or with my thoughts or with my feelings. I didn't exactly know what was wrong, but I was very, very sure that something is wrong here. And yeah. And does your me brain produce as much thoughts as before, or did that like? get less or i don't know actually i assume it's less because there is less seeking at least there is less trying to find an answer so i would say that's less but and still probably i don't know actually i'm not home but <laughs> I I hope it does something. <laughs> well, it must. I mean, sounds are coming out of you still, right? <laughs> exactly. So I I hope that's I hope that's the brain doing its job. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So it seems like as if. Like you say, like if the brain is still doing its job and um, your body is doing its job and like everything is the way it was before in a way. Yeah. But it's like it's like this this uh, illusionary me tries to do all the job. Like it, it tries to do the brain's job and the body's job and the everything's job. Yeah. M maybe that's why we feel so tired. I don't yes. know. <laughs> Absolutely. And it, it totally... And it thinks it has to do this job in order to find this deeper whatever. And it's never there and it's never needed. But exactly. It's very exhausting being someone and trying to do all those things while they already happen by themselves. I think the problem for the person is they don't always happen according to its ideas. That's the thing. It all has its own way of functioning. And it's very, very ordinary and very human, so to speak. And a lot of things don't really fit to those happy pictures that the me has or those enlightened pictures or how it would be when I'm totally fulfilled. And I think that's where it fights against something. It, it fights... Uh, a war which it can't win, so to speak. And that's very exhausting. Yeah. Hey, I could I could share something, but um it's kind of like right now we were we're traveling right now with uh, Christine, uh, uh, some of, someone from the group, and we're writing a, <laughs> a documentary about co the word community. And, you know, there's unity in community. And the idea is just like, this is the, it's community, like, you know, people seeking communities, like, can this, you know, like, really help bring peace and joy? But in reality, it's just, again, we already are, it's already a community. And it's this, uh, so the documentary is about this eye that's basically just trying to seek community, yeah. already being uh, a community. Yeah. 
But it's like, don't you think, just actually just talking about this too, it's like in this dream, don't you think that it's uh, an, like in, inherent, in, in, innate in a way, it's just like the, in order for uh, having this, uh, what's happening here, there, there has to have had some type of separation, at least in order to come to that. I mean, not to what's happening, but uh, yeah, to this talk for sure. <laughs> well, well, the thing is that this separation is totally illusory. So separation yeah. isn't needed for anything. But of course, one could say it's theory, but when there wouldn't be the illusion of separation, <laughs> this talk wouldn't happen, of course. Yeah. <laughs> But nothing needs this talk to happen, so I would totally be fine if this if this doesn't happen, so to speak. But yeah. but but there is no separation ever. So even in this illusion of I'm separate, nothing is actually separate. That's that's why I would call it an illusion. Actually, I know for the person it feels like that. I'm real. This is real. It's about something. We do this in order to find clarity or move on. But all of that isn't happening, actually. It's just the illusion of that for the person. <clears throat> and you're right. When, when you talk about community, then it's just the person trying to find something bigger and becoming a we. It, change, it wants to change from I to we, and then feel connected. But it doesn't really work. It doesn't work in a sense that it brings real unity with wholeness. It would just bring an experience of something which sometimes feels nice, <laughs> but it also <laughs> brings the problems with it. Because the moment you have a group of people, it again is not always peaceful. <laughs> which every group struggles actually from. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how big or small the group is. It starts in partnership or marriage, but it also starts in societies and even in religions. And so, because it's not, a, it's not, it has nothing to do with what we talk about here, so to speak. It would just be an experience of something. But it's a nice idea, at least in the in the beginning. <laughs> Until it turns out that it doesn't fulfill me, then everyone gets frustrated. Yeah, no, it did, uh, uh, and then it creates a lot of practices to kind of like find a way to like rediscover itself. <laughs> exactly. Then you have to work again. That's what the person does. It has to work on its on its joy. And talking about relationships and community and stuff, then the community and relationship becomes something that you have to work on again to make it happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the working, so to speak, is the person's experience. I have to do something. I have to be there and I have to be disciplined and I have to whatever, meditate, uh, heal the relationship, inventing rituals to make everyone feel safe and happy because it's not their natural experience. That's the thing. For the person, wholeness, completion, harmony is not its experience. So it has constantly to somehow try to do it. But why couldn't it be? I mean, this person that we, that is the illusion, it could, it's, it's just an illusion, right? It could be happy and fulfilled and stuff. Yeah, there is no real answer to that. It's just what seems to be happening. And theoretically, it would exactly be like that, like, why can't it just be happy? Why can't it just be okay? And the surprise is, it's just not possible. And 
I can also only invent stories. Why? Because it's separate, because it's not real, because it's, I, but in the end, there is no real answer to this, but it just never happens. This utterly fulfilled, not working, completely effortlessly floating, fulfilled me, it just doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> no matter to whom you talk, even the greatest spiritual masters, they will all connect it with some kind of method, with some kind of doing. It just seems to be impossible to be a happy me. I have no idea why in the end. Well, one could say because it's not real in the first place, but it doesn't make sense that it that it's seeking that's true yeah because it's kind of real enough to be the illusion of not being happy right that is the dream i am and i'm not happy i'm 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 here and something is missing that is the dream so But when you kind of like um, like so if it's an illusion it could be just the opposite right like i'm here and i'm happy I think this, uh, this is step two out of the illusion. In the end, I would say this doesn't work because there is no unhappy me in the first place. So the person would say, well, if I'm an illusion and if I'm unhappy, I could just change it to I'm happy. Why not? But again, it's just constantly working on that. Then you end up people or then you end up finding yourself, I don't know, looking in the mirror in the morning, I love you. you have, it's almost like convincing oneself. It practically, that's how it seems to me. Again, you invent rituals. How can you make you feel that? How can you really love yourself? How, that's the thing. It's just practically, it doesn't work. The idea is wonderful. And of course, immediately there's the question, yeah, why not? Just be happy. And the person even asks itself, yeah, why I'm not happy? I could just be happy. The sun is shining. I have, I don't know, I have food. I can, I could just be happy, but it doesn't work. In the end, one could say, because there is no unhappy me in the first place. So, but yeah, it doesn't make sense really. <laughs> But that's why I don't say you should become a happy me. I mean, this message doesn't say be happy, stop seeking and stuff like that, because this again is the prison actually. The surprise is that no one needs to become happy. No one needs to be a happy me because the sun is shining, so to speak. It's fulfilled anyway all the time. But this additional trying to become is just part of a dream. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just won't, it just doesn't lead anywhere real. Yeah, I know if anybody has like a question, we have like still like 20 minutes on here. So just uh, you can unmute yourself. I was going to ask a question for someone that I was talking to yesterday about this. What? And it was, uh, she was asking me and I was like, I'm just going to let the <laughs> Andreas respond. Because there is this like, you know, strong still pull toward like gurus and toward like, oh, but some people have you know abilities but yeah they did really experience this uh, this this thing you know the enlightened ones so what can you mm -hmm. say about the ones that are like enlightened and those that don't <laughs> <laughs> well the ones that <laughs> well that's a, it's very very generalized now so um but that's what i mean the surprise is that of course within the personal reality most a lot of people think that they have found an answer So uh, there are people um, who are very successful, having a successful career, so to speak. They work a lot or they have luck and they have a lot of money and stuff like that. And same happens in spirituality. 
So if you start to be a spiritual person and you focus all the time on having nice experiences, you somehow can become an expert in this. So you can become an expert in you can become an expert in meditation and having a silent mind for half an hour. You can become an expert in opening one's heart and feeling very loving and lovely for an hour or two hours. So if this becomes your daily life, be living a spiritual life, as I say, you, become an, you can become an expert in this or a master, so to speak. But it's all in the dream. It's still all in the dream of there being a real person who can do so. But as I said, it'll be always connected to some kind of doing. Like you go to work every day to earn money, or like the CEO still goes to work and still has to be there and has to work for his position, the spiritual person or the spiritual guru or master has to do the same thing. And for everyone, it's just embedded into a bigger story. Life is about being enlightened. And so you still need to keep up that illusion that there is a life and that there are separate people and that you have to do something for that. So how I see it, I don't think it's wrong or something, but it's just coming from this experience that there is someone, really. And the interesting thing is that, of course, a lot of spiritual teachings or masters they dance around the idea even that there is no ego or that there is no one. They invent a lot of methods and concepts and teachings and they try to make it obvious to you that, you, that there is no ego. But what happens practically is still constantly circling around I am. For the seeker who constantly has to do methods, has to ask itself, has to inquire into its true nature. And of course, the guru or the, the, the master who constantly sees this poor me, which needs help. So it has nothing to do with this message. That was one thing. And of course, there are all kinds of varieties, just people talking themselves into, I'm enlightened. They do, you know, they do, you get all varieties of possibilities. So, I mean, just what we talked about, some people say, well, just change your programming from I'm not enlightened to being enlightened. So, of course, if you do this for 10 years, this thought can become a conviction. And then you say with a total, totally self-assured, of course I'm enlightened. Why not? Just change your belief. But still, it would need some doing and it would still be embedded into a bigger story. It's all part of the dream. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's not what I would call freedom. It's always conditioned. It's always relative to one's work, to one's awareness. And usually, sorry, I'm finished too. And usually it's connected to some kind of don't fall in the trap. Again, there is something wrong. Don't follow your thoughts. It's a challenge. We are all on the path. Even I, as the great master, have to sit down and meditate and constantly be aware every moment. Don't fall in the trap of thinking or whatever. It's all the dream. It's all the dream. <laughs> so so um, this being the dream and we're dreaming. I mean, we're not dreaming because we're not exactly. yes. here. But I mean, um, what is real then? And how we, we cannot know what's real. So what is real? And if. And then, if, I mean, it's kind of impossible to, to verbalize yeah. this, but like yeah. uh, kind of knowing what is real, what's the point of even dreaming then? 
And that's the thing. There is no point in anything. Uh, th and what is real? Is there anything that is real? Do you no. know what I mean? We say this is illusion, so we kind of have to... Uh, in Nothing a dual is. world, right? There is has to be. If we say illusion, then there must be something real beyond the illusion. No. And and then, like so, so the illusion is real. Like everything is real, or nothing is real. Nothing you know is what I mean? real. Exactly, nothing is real. Yes. Because if nothing is real, then everything is real. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Could, oh yeah. To, one could also say like this. Yeah, that's what I would say. Everything this is completely whole and complete. I know that in the end, the concept of real or unreal, illusion and truth, it just collapses. Because again, this division would only be made by the person. This is real, this is illusion, this should go, we should focus on that. And exactly, if this turns out to be in existence or not real, then there is no division anymore, not even between truth and illusion. That's the funny thing. It really nothing matters. And there is really not one position or one thing better or closer to wholeness than the other one. It's, amazing. it's so surprising because it's absolutely not what the person expects. There is really no problem with anything but i sorry i have to close the door <clears throat> that was an apparent problem my son was an apparent problem no the open door <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah i'm bad yeah <clears throat> I hope this isn't recorded even. All right. I mean, hey, one could, I mean, you cannot say that because there's no one saying anything, but it does, it, it, in this dream of me, it does feel like uh, this message is probably like quite, it, it's, it's ended most other seeking things in a way. In, in a, it, like, you know, the, this pursuit to happiness in a way, it's like it's it's also gone and there is just joy and happiness that's just there because it's just a beautiful like, it's, well it's not even beautiful it's just for no reason that's the thing wholeness <laughs> wholeness is the natural reality for no reason at all and of course I, I, yeah i have well i shouldn't promote this too much with joy and stuff of course when there is no one um, there's, of course, much, much less potential for suffering. And yes, it seems to be that the body is just naturally kind of, well, not, not divinely joyful or something, not what the person thinks, but yeah, there's just no real problem with anything. So Yeah, so. that's what I mean. So it's just light. It's just like, okay, this, it's all cool. It's fun. It's, uh, it's not like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just... Yeah, it is what it was. It is what we're. It's not what we're looking for. You can't say that, but it's just. It, it, it's total freedom. There is no seeking. Exactly. Yes, you can't really describe it because it's not an experience of joy or freedom, but yeah, it it's just the, the absence of the seeker. What's left is for total freedom, total wholeness which is but on the other side very ordinary it's not an extra special state or st of absolute freedom that's the thing though. it just is like that <laughs> but i'm thinking if we get if there's full freedom from this me yeah i mean we still have like uh, seems like in a separation of the different bodies and we don't like bounce into each other just because we're not in the illusion of being me me do you know what i mean it kind of seems like the parts are still working it, that's the thing but they do this by themselves totally oh yeah i oh totally 
and also like when, like uh, the parts decided for us to have this meeting for example yeah yeah or or whoever decided it i mean no one actually decides anything then yeah no one knows yes exactly yes it's just what happens or what apparently happens and no one has a clue at all and no one decided for this yeah that's it and it's like, one could say, actually, it's like this all the time. That's the thing. It's just a dream that it's otherwise. Oh, no, I decided. Oh, no, I, I'm here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm living in this body. And this body came here because of me it being in the Oh, no, no. It's just without answer. Who does it? What does it? Why? No. So it's kind of almost like the trees. Yes. Like every tree looks like it does, right? But it didn't decide to look like that. It yes. just kind of, there was a seed and now it looks like that because the seed was there yeah. and it's just kind of keeps going. Uh, so without, just... You know, with, without, well, I don't know, maybe trees have names too and stuff, but, but I mean, not what we know, right? Yeah. I think everything is like that. We are just human trees, so to speak. But as humans, yeah, we just are what apparently happens. Yeah. And this experience to be separate, the same with trees or every, actually in this whole universe, nothing here has the experience to be separate. A tree doesn't say, yeah, but I'm a separate tree. Not because it has the experience to be unified. It doesn't need that even. It's just, itself and it's actually the same with these bodies they are also just themselves it would just be this this energetic center this i am which would claim i'm separate the body even the body doesn't do that though it it, it seems to be separate you there's your body there's my body but there's um without this sense of uh presence without the sense of i am the body doesn't claim know about itself i'm a separate body oh, no, no. yeah and it kind of seems like i have anything to say about this body but it seems more like because i couldn't decide for your body to go exercise right but it seems like i can do that with mine but it but maybe it's, but it it's more body. like it's it's maybe i just in this point of view, you know, it's just like a point of view. It kind of looks like I have something to say about this body. Yes. I could make it to go to a gym, but actually, did I make it to the go to? No, it just went to a gym, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I mean, if there would be really someone, I would go much more often, but it's another issue. <laughs> <laughs> but there is no one. No, okay. <laughs> Jack. <clears throat> cause and effect are also part of the dream. Cause and effect. Oh, yeah, totally, of course. Because you said before, nothing is happening. Nothing. Exactly. Nothing is really happening. So there can't be a real cause and effect. Yes. Yeah. Or ever did happen. Or ever did happen, so to speak. But no one knows this in the end. But yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. There is no experience or left to know or to not know. Or there's no narrative. There's no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's no, no one living in a narrative, in a greater story about the world, about how it functions, what this is actually about, who we are. Exactly. The person lives in, the, in, a, in a story, in a narrative. Yeah, when there the, is surprising, the surprising thing is there never was a need for the narrative. There was oh, it, yeah. that's it, the funny, <laughs> that's the funny thing. That it, it only you, you know it never happened. What the person thinks is going on never happened, and nothing in this universe even cared. It is really just the person living in its own world on my my precious suffering. It wasn't real. 
of course my exactly my my life my suffering my my story this, this whole importance and meaning and also with best intentions but it's all really nothing none of that ever happened or is happening the person says well i'm here and there's this huge universe imagine it's so big you can't imagine it, but it, it doesn't happen really it's just the person inventing this feeling of there being a huge existence coming from it's my existence and there's oh, i look outside and i can't see the end of this but when there is no one it's just Whole and complete on the one hand, but totally ordinary and meaningless on the other hand. Mm -hmm. Thanks. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny thing. The person thinks, not that it could do differently, but the person really thinks and feels as if all of this is utterly, utterly real the whole universe, the world, society, its life, its problems, what it's about, its aspirations of whatever it wants, it aspires, true love, true happiness, true peace, power. You can also take the negative things, power over everything. Well, oh, that's a very yogic idea, actually. But you no, know, you can also in bed. Whatever, anything true meaning, what I'm here for, it's all, doesn't, it just doesn't exist. It's never about something, no matter how deeply the person believes in it and suffers from its ideas, it's never about something, it can't be. It yeah. seems like the liberation what? and the freedom as well are illusions because we're still in the dream. I mean, we're not, I mean, the dream still dreams exactly freedom has no idea about it being free even this doesn't experience itself as free it just is free it just is sitting in front of a screen for no reason but yes sitting in front of a screen and it doesn't have any idea about it being free or not it doesn't care that this whole store narrative again doesn't exist same with fulfillment and enlightenment and all those things. It is so naturally in peace. What happens, what apparently happens, including oneself, is so naturally in peace, it has no clue about itself being in peace or needing to know it. Or It's so natural and ordinary what we talk about. And the exhaustion comes from trying to explain it to the self trying to understand it. They're trying to, they're trying to get an intellectual lock on it so that I can understand it. Yeah, not trying, not, trying not, to not. own it. It's yes. not only yes. understanding. I mean, there's a whole movement of feeling, feeling it. And of course, this is the person's sincere question. How can this become my honest experience? But that is the dream. It's again, not needed. It's impossible, but also not needed dog chasing its tail exactly. and never leaving itself that's a, it's the same thing that we just talk about, talked about it's still only the person living in its own narrative i have to see it i have to experience wholeness how can i see that <laughs> no one needs that there's nothing you can do to 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 change it i mean to to yeah. We can not do anything, right? Yeah. So it's um, it's like um, there there is no one doing anything already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in a way, you could never you could never share this. Yes, I know. <laughs> share it. Share it with whom? <laughs> yeah, well, with uh, who would share what with whom? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So. So the only thing left is just the illusion. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> In a way. I mean, because this dream is dreaming, right? And we're never going to get out of it. 
because there's no one to get out and you cannot share yes if you kind of figure out how to well something got figured out you cannot share it no Nothing. But we'll try. We'll try. Oh, <laughs> oh. No, no. <laughs> oh. You first hear it. There's nothing you do, nowhere you can go. And, and, and the uh, self is like, oh, yeah? Challenge on. And literally keeps trying to find some loophole in that. In, in all of it. In reality to where it can understand and get reality, but from a distance of being, still being separate. Okay, of course. Oh yeah, only, that's all it can do. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens to the person, so to speak, it is, it will turn it into, a, into another seek. It, yeah, as I say, it will find, it tries to find the loophole, the problem. Okay, now I get this, so how can I integrate it? Okay, I've understood that there's nothing to get, but again, how can I make this my experience? And yeah, that's all it can do until it collapses, <laughs> until the illusion apparently collapses. Yeah, uh, yeah I was going to say this is good too because like the, some people just start hearing this message and just describe it but this is the me doing that you know like saying this is a nihilistic you know view or whatever yeah. but when it really collapses this is what's very important because I, I don't it's weird when there is this coming back sometimes this idea of nihilistic in reality when it really collapses there's just no I of none course. of that it's gone yeah yeah it may sound nihilistic uh for the person because it thinks it's a position the person mm -hmm. thinks this is a concept that i have and i say no this is not real and this is not real and eh, this oh no not at all no it, exactly it's a it's a misunderstanding that this message is nihilistic actually it's saying sitting in front of a screen this is it this is <laughs> It, it only says no to things that don't exist anyway. My enlightenment, my personal life, suffering, and all that stuff. But of course, that's all the things that the person knows. So the person hears a lot of no. Huh? No enlightenment. I'm not here. Seeking doesn't work. Oh, God. <laughs> but <laughs> what it over, overhears, overlooks, of course, is the pointing that this is howling can play. But again, that's its experience anyway, to overlook that this is howling complete already. But that's what it doesn't hear. Person hears this message and only hears no, 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 no. But it doesn't hear this, this inherent yes to this, which is no one's, of course. We don't have to make it too holy, but of course, <laughs> yeah, saying no to the illusion instantly says yes to this. Yeah, but this is, I mean, it's bad. It's still like this, this little tweet, just like, uh, um, yeah, because it's like you can see you're very, it's, it's like there is a smile going on. It's not like a, <laughs> we're not trying to, there's not like a huge suffering going on. So it, it's a, uh, it, it's lightening in a way to just like end this seeking and not in any way. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one here to say no to the illusion. So how can it ever collapse? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would it just can. be, but yes, exactly. The turning out that there is no illusion is the collapse actually. So mm -hmm. there is no real collapse of anything. I know it's a story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a great story for like a whole one hour so if anyone has one question we have like this one last minute in case otherwise we can thank uh, um, thank Andreas but if anybody wants to ask something you can unmute yourself now <laughs> yeah perfect I would be surprised if there would be any questions left so <laughs> that's exactly what I expected <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard to ask question to this. I love it. But anyway, thank you so much, Andreas. And uh, thank you for everybody who came on. Um, all right. That's all. We have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. It's thank you, Andreas. Thank you.
Bye.